Hello everyone, another jailbreak tweaks video. I can't wait to show you some cool new, new tweaks that I found recently on Cydia. So let's begin. I'm gonna start with the first one. I cannot show you the settings, but it's very, very cool tweak and I highly recommend it. If you are tired of uh, ads on Facebook and you want to customize it more, Wolf is the tweak for you. So it gives you the option to disable uh, marking messages as seen, disable typing status, no feed ads, etc, etc. So this is highly, highly recommended tweak if you really want to uh, uh, customize your Facebook experience. Next week is called WAKT or W-A-K-T, however you may want to pronounce it. This is another tweak which gives you the time and a different format and the date here in your uh, status bar on Notch devices. So something really cool that I've been looking for and I'm always trying to find some tweaks which really do this in a good way. So this is the walked uh, tweak and you can set it up pretty pretty easily in your in your settings. Okay, you decide what is the format. You can here see the site nsdateformatter.com and you can choose the font size for the first line, for the second line, everything very straightforward. Here folder 13 on tweaked repo. So what does this tweak do? It removes your blur of your background and most importantly for me, it shows the uh, status bar. So when you open your folder, as you can see, it's not as blurred. I mean, you can customize this in settings, but you can still see your status bar. So this is clean folder 13. Next one, it's called DynaWall, but I'm suggesting DynaWall Lite, which is a free tweak. DynaWall is not free tweak, it's two and a half dollars or something, 2.79, something like this. So what, the, what does it do? You choose your photos and you create a dynamic uh, wallpaper. So I've chosen two photos, one for light, one for dark option, and then you get a preview how it's gonna look like. Uh, of course, you cannot change it, that's the downside. But anyway, if you have some, some let's say, uh, good photos day and night, you can, you can choose your own photos. So these are my two photos that I took, and I can create uh, a wallpaper. Let's call it a pool, sorry. Pool. And this is all to it. So you've created your own wallpaper. What you can do, you can go and open your settings and you can uh, see where your wallpaper is located. There you go. At the end, I'm gonna see my wallpaper, newly created wallpaper, and I can, I can use it if I want. That's it. DynaWall Lite. Very, very nice tweak. Next one, it's called Flat Clean Cydia. Small tweak, which just gives you some, some different look of the Cydia. As you can see, it's cleaner and you don't have those lines when you go uh, in between these, these repos. And all over the place, the Cydia looks a little bit cleaner, which is, which is kind of nice. It's called Cast Switcher. The only thing that this tweak does, and there is no special settings, uh, is that it makes your switcher looks like on the iPad. So when you do this, this is how your switcher will look like. It's kind of neat, if you like this view, like iPad Pro has, please install Cost Switcher. Groupy. This tweak groups your notifications in a very nice and, and cool way on your lock screen. So if you get a, a notification, for example, I'm gonna send a notification to myself and let's see, I put test one more time, right? Because I've done many tests. So once you receive the notification, it will look like this. See, your notifications will be grouped and it's gonna look like this. So you just click on the notification itself and you will be able to see it. BBC, so everything is grouped, it's grouped in this, in this way. So this is groupy. The next week is called Shake to Toggle. So with uh, shaking your device, you can initiate certain controls, certain actions. 
You can open the application. You can play, pause song and videos. You can shuffle play, uh, shuffle song, the playlist, or you can, what I selected was to play in the next song or, or video. So if you put any song in your, in your app music and, and you shake your device, it's gonna go to the next one, which is kind of uh, useful. So this is Shake to Talk. Of course, you can you can also enable other uh, features uh, in this tweak. You can, as you can see, you can switch to dark mode, night shift, flashlight, you can lock your device, take a screenshot. All these things are very, very useful. So this is Shake to Talk. The next tweak is called Selector. This tweak enables Google Translate or any other engine if you prefer to translate your text within the app where you are currently in. So if we go to notes, I have a certain story here in notes and I just click on a word and click on this uh, arrow, I will get this option translate. When I do this, it gives me translation within the app. I don't have to go uh, separately and copy it to Google Translate, I can do it in the app. And I can just tap here to close and I can do it again or I can select the whole text and I can translate the text within a few seconds. So it's kind of neat, the cool and cool. This is the tweak called Selected. The next tweak is called Volume Percent. You all know and love our new volume HUD that we have in iOS 13 and you know when you play a video or play any music on the side you will have a, like, again volume HUD which will uh, which you know looks very simple and plain so if you play any video or any song when you want to see there is an option Hi everyone. To, Welcome to, another video. to do yes. what to increase the volume and to show the percentage of that volume while you increase or decrease that volume. Even if you want to do it, uh, as you can see, the number goes up. It, it becomes, see, and then it goes up to zero. I mean, it, it becomes narrow when the when this line becomes narrow, the numbers go up. When it becomes fat or, or thick, it goes within the volume HUD. I think it's kind of a cool uh, tweak to have. So this is volume percent. The last, but definitely not the least tweak today is called No to Theft 3. This is a sequel of No to Theft 2 this is updated for iOS 13. So this is one of the uh, best tweaks to prevent theft of your phone or people who want to uh, uh, snoop around your phone without you knowing or those who want to attempt to you know, try and unlock and guess your password. So this tweak, and there were a few tweaks in the history of, of jailbreaking who did the same thing. This tweak will cost you 2.5 bucks and uh, it has many options where you can set up your uh, uh, protection on your iPhone. So you can set up an alarm. Uh, for example, the first thing I did was set the alarm sound to none because I don't want my, my alarm, alarm to sound and, and scare people. I want them to you know, play with my phone and then uh, I want to be informed about it. So whoever from your work, for example, messes up with your phone and wants to unlock it while you're not looking, uh, if they mess up the pass, passcode, they try the passcode and it's not working, immediately the front facing camera will take a photo and send it to your email. And also the, it can send you the location, it can disable the shutdown if somebody steals your phone. So it can prevent shutting down the phone so you can find the location of the phone before the battery wears out and, and many others. You can select the photo quality of these taking screenshots, etc., etc. So it's really, really uh, must have tweak for you guys who are obsessed with uh, security and you don't want people to mess around your uh, phones without you knowing. So highly recommended, no to theft three. If you like this video, consider subscribing. If not, fine. You're welcome to comment. You're welcome to like, dislike, whatever. I'm open for any suggestions and I really hope I see you in the next video. Thank you very much.